Hi there. I've been recently asked how I hold the bow. I never had lessons and so I'm self-taught and consequently the way I hold the bow is exactly the way I first picked it up and found it the most comfortable to hold. Um, my thumb tends to go under this bit here where the um, there is a winding that's the silver binding there that's no longer silver but behind that there is a sort of tape binding I tend to put my thumb under that and between the horse hair and then I bring the rest of my uh, my first finger, my middle finger and my ring finger down on top of the bow like that and then for some unknown reason I tuck my little finger, my pinky in behind there like that so it's actually pushing on the side of the bow that tends to give me personally a lot of control. Now it's it's not a correct method of holding the bow and I will get told that this I hold the bow incorrectly but as I said I never had lessons and this is the way I first picked up the bow and found it the most comfortable. Since then I found I've used this style of bowing all the time and I try to use as much of the bow as possible rather than just the middle section. I try to use the upper section and the lower section and I also try and uh, dig in with the bottom end of the bow. I know that method is very popular with some fiddle players who almost that sort of business. Well I use it more for emphasizing the rhythm in the tune so I tend to try and use the whole length of the bow and the bottom end nearest to my hand for those parts where I want to impart a real sense of drive of rhythm into the tune. Now that bow hold, as you can see, gives me what I want. It's not necessarily the correct way to hold the bow, but there has been some interest in the way that I do hold the bow, which is why I've made this video, to, to give you some idea. I don't necessarily hold the bow at the very end. I believe you're meant to hold the bow like that which I personally find doesn't give me any control over the movement. Perhaps I could use it, but at this stage in my fiddle playing I'm quite content to continue using this bow hold that feels the most comfortable. So that's, there you have it. Sometimes I go a little bit up the bow like that, so I'm not actually holding the bow right at the very end. I'm holding it just a fraction up from where you're supposed to hold it because once again it's how I find it the most comfortable way. So I've been asked about this a few times so I thought I would make this video just to show you and as I would stress once again it's not the correct way so please don't follow my lead um, and end up with all sorts of problems if you're taking fiddle lessons or violin lessons and exams and that sort of thing please don't follow my my lead just just it's just an, an, an example of perhaps a different way to hold the bow <laughs> Suits me. Thank you anyway. Bye bye.